What's up guys? I just got to my house today. Me and John were out all this morning running some quotes. We measured like three houses and we already got two of the jobs, so that's awesome. So we can just keep this fine-tuned machine moving right along. But I busted the camera out and I wanted to show you this because this is what I walked home to today. Right here. Thank you so much, Milwaukee, for sending me this fuel miter saw. This is awesome. This is the seven and a quarter inch kit. Let's see if we can get that focused. Seven and a quarter inch dual bevel sliding compound miter saw kit. So this one has the, the battery and the charger, the rapid charger. And I am super pumped to be using this saw. This is gonna be my first seven and a quarter inch miter saw. Uh, what else I got on this doorstep, I'll show you. And let me grab my trusty blade here and we'll open up this box too. Sorry about the noise back there. We are, uh, we live on a busy road. This is actually a restocking of our store. So in here, so we got a bunch of accelerators and more accelerators, more accelerators. Um, let's see what else we got here. My wife usually goes through all this and makes sure they sent us the right stuff. Okay, we got a lot of accelerators. Some glue bottles, okay, here we go. So we restocked our glue store and this stuff is good to go. And the good thing about this for me is if I'm ever running low on glue, I just grab one from the little inventory that we have here. And so there's glue, let me get this thing focused. So there's the glue, the miter saw, in one more mystery box, which is really what I want to talk to you about here. And this is where I'm going to need some, some advice from some people. All right, so I'll clean all this up later. But uh, this last box right here, it, these are actually steps for our new vehicle, which I'm going to show you right now that Mercedes Sprinter van right there. This is our new vehicle. We had a Suburban that gave out on us and I love my diesel truck over here so much. This is a 6.7 liter Cummins turbo diesel. I love this thing. This is like my all time favorite truck. But we got this Sprinter van because the Suburban gave out and this one right here is diesel as well. It's got the blue tech and it's a Mercedes diesel. This is an all Mercedes Sprinter van. It's not the, um, how Dodge they make the Sprinter van and they have the, the international engines in them. And the Sprinter van's kind of a little funny. It's, it's, uh, it's kind of one of those things. It's like a, a really, really customizable vehicle. But we got the all Mercedes one and we're super happy with it. The kids love it. I can lay down in the back seat in here. The reason I'm making this video is because I've driven this thing for the past three or four days now, and I love it. I didn't think I would like to work out of a van, but I've actually considered getting one of these now for my business, just for my truck. I could fit the whole 16 foot boards in there, and this thing would be awesome. The engine's clean. This sucker is a 2014 and it has um, 45,000 miles on it when we got it. So the interior is real nice. I like it. It's a smooth, smooth ride like you wouldn't expect it. This huge piece of glass and body, you wouldn't expect it to be such a smooth ride, but I really like it. But the one thing that my wife doesn't like about it is that that's about I don't know what it was, like 12 inches or, no, it was 18 inches from the floor to that step. And she does not like that. And same thing on the other side for the kids. So we got, we, I got to put in those rails, but here's the van. It's awesome. It's a passenger van. So we got some car seats in here right now and it seats 12 people. So we want to do some traveling and go on some road trips. And I wanted to go with the diesel because I'm sick of going through gasoline engines. So I'll come on the other side. 
I'll pop this hood real quick so y'all can see. I think we did good on this, this thing. We got a fair price on it. So let's look under this hood. You won't even believe how clean this thing is. The guy who owned it before us just owned a nail salon and picked up his, his clients in the nail from, from their houses to take them to the nail salon. So nobody dogged it out and ran it real rough. But it's a four cylinder diesel, has a 5,000 pound towing capacity, which is perfect for our boat. I think our boat weighs like 3,500 pounds with the motor and trailer and everything. And when I opened this hood, I was just like, this sucker is clean. And we'll come around on this side. And I'm not gonna open the passenger door. We'll just open this big side door. But here's my thing. There's so much freaking space in this thing. These seats are all removable with those latches right there. I could literally fit all of my tools inside this beast of a vehicle. The only thing I didn't like when I had my E150 van was that the users, so I would be driving here and then John would be sitting here of the vehicle we would have to be in the same compartment where all the dust is. So, sorry about the noise. Like I said, we live on a busy road here. But we would have to be in the same compartment with the chemicals, the paint thinner, the primer, all the dust. And I did not like sitting in the car or truck for several hours while that was happening. Now with the truck, obviously, my Ram over here, you're not gonna have that problem of having to breathe in those chemicals because I have everything in my bed and then separated right there and then we're up here in the compartment. So that's one thing that's kind of making me like, I don't know if this is going to be a good work vehicle, but this vehicle right here, this Mercedes Benz Sprinter gets 25 miles per gallon. I could not believe it. And that's the whole reason I switched from my E150 to the Ram because the Ram's a diesel and I got so much more miles per gallon. On that Ram, I get 22 miles per gallon and it has a tuner on it. So that's why I'm able to, to get that kind of mileage. And I can also black smoke roll coal as they call it out the back uh, and tailpipe, which I do occasionally. So my question is, has anybody ever used one of these? Because if I buy one of these for my work, I want to make sure I don't regret it. It'll be a while before I can get it because we got to pay this thing off now, but I would like to know because this thing is awesome. I've been driving it around and I absolutely just love this thing right now. I know there's all kinds of options for work vehicles. I know Ron Polk, he has his trailers, the smart trailer that he's working on and he's had some other trailers, but as you can hear and see, this is a busy road. I do not want to be pulling a trailer in and out of this road at all. This is just ridiculous because I don't want to have to deal with that loud. I mean, not loud. It's always going to be loud. I don't want to have to deal with that kind of traffic, you know, coming in and out with a big trailer. That's, that's just not feasible for right now, for at least for where we live right here. We're, this isn't where we're gonna stay forever, I don't think, because we rent it, so we wanna eventually buy our own house. But that's it, that's the Mercedes Sprinter. Let me know if anybody's ever used one or something like it, and what you would think about it as a work vehicle. I'm thinking ladders on top with a rack system, tools inside so I could keep every tool in there, even that new Milwaukee miter saw and there's just so much more room it's ridiculous so in my work truck now i got it's kind of a mess i got a organizer with everything i'll need fasteners nails well fasteners a table saw here my dewalt welders box with all the power tools in it and then over there i've got the miter saw so you could see the limitation of space in here but it makes up for it because I just freaking love this truck. And it's got this nice eight foot bed where I can put stuff. I put materials up there and 
I know that headache rack is not the best looking, but it works for right now. I haven't had time to bring it down. It's a little high. But there you have it, folks. That's our vehicle situation now. Considering the Mercedes-Benz diesel Sprinter. And this is a daily driver, too. <laughs> this is a daily driver. This isn't like... We're not rich. We don't have all kinds of money to just buy a, a traveling vehicle. So with that, it's taken a little bit to get used to. But doing some research, there's a lot of people who drive Mercedes-Benz Sprinters as daily drivers, and they deck those things out. I'd want to put like a mattress and like a kitchen sink in here. There's videos all over YouTube of people modifying their Sprinters. So anyways, let me know in the comments what you think about me switching over to a sprinter one day. I'll try that seven and a quarter inch Milwaukee miter saw and until then, we'll see y'all on the next video. Take care.